This video was filmed in Francois Paquette's nest box in Quebec. It's going to graphically illustrate the defense of a resource, a nest cavity that's absolutely necessary for tree swallow reproduction. We warn you, there's violent behavior. You may not associate with small songbirds. It may be too disturbing for some children and may be difficult for adults to watch. It was for us. But please realize these behaviors are not unique to tree swallows. This type of competition is found in other cavity nesters, such as house wrens, chickadees, and our not so gentle bluebirds. This encounter apparently took place the first day a pair of tree swallows had claimed this box and only a few hours after the new resident female had begun nest building. The action starts with a male tree swallow entering the box and looking around. Then a second, a female, peeks in cautiously and then joins in. There she's peeking again. She doesn't know if she should enter or not. can be dangerous. And then in she comes. You may have noticed the much duller color of this female once she entered, and you can certainly see it as she perches next to the male in the bottom of the box. This suggests that she may be a second year female a female that was hatched just last year and is now in her very first breeding season. She looks around too as if she's unfamiliar with this box and in fact she is. She is not the new resident female. She's an intruder looking for a nest site of her own. On the other hand the male when he goes to the entrance we recognize. We've seen him in other videos and know him by a small patch of partly missing feathers on his back. When he leaves, we think the intruding female wanted to leave also. But being unfamiliar with the box, she tries to exit through the ventilation slots at the top of the box sides. Now you can clearly see the brownish feathers on her back. This is definitely a second year female. Now is she confused? Or just looking around? She should have gone while she had the chance, but maybe she wants this box for herself. Looks around. Well, maybe this will do. Maybe she'll take it. But then, in comes the resident female and pounces on her grabs the intruder's torso with her feet and its head feathers with her bill and begins to administer a beating that actually lasted over 20 minutes. We will be cutting away for parts of this time for time purposes, but what you'll see will be typical of any footage we remove. Again and again, the intruding female tried to escape, but the resident female either held on or recaptured her. The female is trying to get out those ventilation slots. She's very confused. She's not familiar with this box. The resident knocks her down, come back, so back up, and grabs her. When she does make it to the entrance, this is what usually happens. She's dragged back down to the bottom of the box. 
where the resident female has her firmly under control. After a couple of minutes, we start to see the resident female making lunging motions with her head. She's begun pecking the head of the intruder. And we'll see this behavior more and more as the struggle progresses. Now, does it surprise you that it's two females involved in the struggle? Why is this? Well, tree swallows are what ornithologists call obligate secondary cavity nesters, which means they must nest in cavities, but they can't make their own. Since there are rarely enough cavities for all the tree swallows, the bluebirds, the wrens, and the chickadees, etc., that can't make their own cavities, there's stiff competition for any that are available. And the competition is usually most intense among females because they cannot reproduce without a nest cavity to lay their eggs in and to raise their young in. And since male tree swallow, or since female tree swallows have a life expectancy of only about two and a half years, not to reproduce even one year is a major life failure. So a female that's been able to claim a, nice, a nest site will fight fiercely to defend it, as this resident female is. On the other hand, Males can sometimes reproduce without a nest cavity. By copulating with females that do have a cavity and fathering extra pair young in this way. So you shouldn't be too surprised that the male that you'll see peeking in at the struggle from time to time doesn't want to intervene. He's very content to let the two females fight it out. And he'll nest with whoever wins. After all, winning may show which female has better genes and will produce descendants that will better survive. The struggle goes on. And as we said, it goes on for 20 full minutes. But we won't put you through that. We've cut over 12 minutes in the middle of this video. But the behavior continued as it did before, with the resident female controlling the intruding female by pinning her, grabbing her, and pummeling her. And as the intruders struggling to resist has slowly diminished the tendency of the resident female to peck the intruder's head has increased. gets difficult to watch, doesn't it? And there's the male peeking in. Just a spectator. The intruder continues to struggle When she tries to rally and escape, you can see that her attempts are more feeble and more easily stopped by the resident female.
Intruder's really having a tough time now. The wing movement is slowing down. She's still scrambling with her feet. But the resident keeps pecking hard. That's what her instinct tells her to do when other females try to take her box. After all, she has to have this box or she can't reproduce. Well, the intruder's not moving now. It's not a good sign. The resident female folds her wings. It seems to be letting the intruder go. Then she jumps up to the entrance. Her job is done. She successfully defended her nest. She wasn't being mean. She did what she had to do. Now the beaten intruder lies sprawled on the box floor. When we first saw this video, we were certain she'd been killed. She just lay there. We tried to de detect breathing, but we couldn't see any. We've just spared you from watching what appears to be a dead bird by cutting several minutes out of the video. But after about a total of five minutes of lying still, we saw something. We saw this bird make a little twitch, fairly small, but still detectable, just barely. Watch now. There it was. Very hard to see, but just enough to make us think that maybe, just maybe, this bird's still alive. We continued to watch. Then, after almost two and a half more minutes of lying on the floor, we saw another which watch for it because it's coming watch there it was now we do think this female is alive after all we continue to watch to see what's next But she remains still. Had we been deceived? Was she really dead? Were those twitches just reflexes in death? She continued to lie there, and we started to lose hope. She's not moving, we can't tell. She's breathing or not. And then something happened. A tree swallow peeked in and maybe vocalized, and that intruder sprang up off the floor. Went right up to those vents, very actively now. 
she seized the entrance hole and battered and bruised out she went. Happily, she seemed to be moving okay. So maybe the pecs to her head hadn't caused major neural damage. So what had happened? Why did she just lie there on the floor for all that time? Was she exhausted? Was she stunned or, con or concussed? Was she actually playing dead to stop the resident female's battering? We just don't know. All we can do is hope she wasn't badly injured, that she recovers fully from the beating she took, and that she lives to reproduce, if not this year, then maybe next.